Hello everyone. Welcome to Study Automation. In this tutorial, we will install Express.js and we will create our first API, first GET API. So let's get started. What we have to do is we can create one file. So here you can see this is this option is to create file. This is to create a new folder. So we can click on create file and then give the name here. Let's say I am giving index.js. Since you can see in the package.json also we have main file that is index.js. You can change it as well. So I am keeping it index.js and in this file we can write code. So before going to write any code we have to install express.js. So let's install here express.js. What we have to do we have package manager that is npm. We will write i. i is used to install and then express npm i express this will install express.js in this node.js node.js package manager so after that we have to also install one more thing that is called nodemon so let's install that npm i and if you will use g g is used for globally so you want to install node one globally then you can use g hyphen g and then node one so node one is used to monitor the changes and it will automatically deploy your changes so you don't need to run a command again and again it will be whenever you will change anything and then whenever you will save that it will your code will automatically start working start running so now we have installed node express.js and node mount in our project so as a dependency you can see here we have installed node.js now next thing is we can write few code in the in this file index.js so let's start first we have to import Express.js. So we'll write const express require express. That means we need express first, and uh, after that we can create const app equal to express. Now we are just creating the object we can say from this express app and then we have to bind this app app.use express.json so along with that let's create one const let's say I can say books one array I am going to create and in this array we will add few objects so let's say I am adding title title equal to uh, Java program and then we can add here ID 1 similar to that we can add one more book that is let's say C sharp programming and here we can write two and then we can say next is node.js program title 3 id3 right now we have created one array array of object this is also constant right next thing is that we have to use this app and then we'll create our first service so app dot use app dot basically get we have methods available already so we can use app dot get we can use post right so all HTTP methods are available here we can use app dot get to create the get request to read the data from the server so here we have to give the path I am giving path slash that means whenever I'll call this service, it will return all the data, whatever things available here. 
this is our first service that I'm going to call and in the next request we have to pass request and response object then use this arrow function to write code that we will that we want to return from here so I can say response dot send and here I'll say welcome to study automation to learn rest api with node js right this is the first line that we can write and then once we will complete this one this is the first service whenever we will invoke slash then this particular response will be returned and then we have to bind this with the actual server so what we can write we can say app dot listen and inside this we have to write the port name so let's say i want to run this at 3000 3000 and uh, or or it's up to you if you want to run at 8080 it's up to you then the second parameter will be app dot run and uh, right so we can simply say this this will this is fine save this program and uh, so to run that program what we have to do we have to write node mon node mon and then index dot js you can see now we are getting a starting node and then index so let's say let's go here to the browser and write local right here local host 8080 slash now you can see here welcome to a study automation to learn rest api with node.js this is simple request that we have made in the next tutorial we will see how we can call the actual api to get these details thank you